Alright, now I don't have that much money. And we want to fight mid-bosses. The most I can see... Oh, one... Two... I'm not seeing a very good mid-boss chain here. Sometimes I, like, fight tons of them. Okay, so no matter what, we ha we want to fight two mid-bosses. I want to stay away from the right side. Maybe. Or maybe not, actually. Going down the right side. It's got, like, an okay mystery machine in here. And we get double shot. And I don't have that much money saved up. But we I prefer to push my shop for the very, very end. So let's do that. Okay. Um, hmm. Do I risk it with Jax? Yeah, it's... I could actually burst into Jax now that I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure if I care to do that, though. That's 6 HP lost fairly early in a run. I can burst into a leg sweep. Uh, I got four energy now. So that actually, that does give me some more options here. Well, I should start using, start by using the infinite blades, no matter what they're useful. Let's neutralize this guy. Okay. So 16 damage. What can I do? If I do defend, we'll be at 13. Pop prepared, let's see what we get. Lose Concentrate, and Leg Sweep. Deflect is free, puts me at 6. Defend puts me at 14, and then I can Dagger Spray them. Good. Yeah, balancing everything is kind of... kind of hard. But not impossible. Okay, so Infinite Blades... Distraction. Gets me a cloak and dagger, which gets me yet more blades. Let's see, and I'm just gonna start shiving these guys down semi indiscriminately. Nobody's gonna hurt me too bad. And we need Panache to roll through. I definitely have the energy for things. Okay, so after image, after image. Endless agony, endless agony. Shiv, shiv, shiv. Infinite blades and defend. We still haven't gotten Panache yet. Now, I am actually going to take a fair bit of da Oh, jeez, I'm going to take a bunch of damage from this one. They all decided to attack me at once. Can't do much about that, but... I can destroy them accordingly. Okay. Yeah, I could have made... No, I don't think I could have done that much better. Uh, let's get Noxious Fumes. I'm more or less just rolling powers, because they're... Uh, they're free. Free-ish. I've got the energy to put them down. Okay, let's do Infinite Blades... Infinite Blades. Deflect Madness, which makes Dagger Spray free, which is useful. Let's do Burst Survivor. So now I'm beefy. Unfortunately, the Orb Walker sucks because he gets me burns. Two burns, mind you. I still feel like if you can block that, it should... Um, it should prevent it entirely. Okay, so let's neutralize him down. Defend Madness, so Leg Sweep becomes free. And then start shiving. Yeah, Noxious Fumes isn't really that useful uh, for this run. But at the same time, it's a one-cost power that pays crazy dividends. I think it's worth. 
Right, let's let's jax. This guy sucks. Deflect. Endless agony. Endless agony. Shiv. Shiv. Concentrate. Still take some damage. Boo. Oh, it's because I haven't seen after image roll by yet. Well, panache. Prepared. Drop the burn. Throw the backflip. Gets me distraction, which gets piercing whale, which I'll just hit him with. It's free anyway. Shiv. You know what? Hold on. Let's prepared. No. Uh, I'm gonna keep the. I'm gonna drop the shiv, keep the defend. And drop one of the infinite blades. Oh, I should have kept the shiv. I don't have enough energy for that. Well, it's okay. This way I don't take damage. And actually, he's about to die. Wasn't looking at it as maybe as much as I should have been, but that's okay. Yeah, not getting those after images early kind of sucks. Okay, blur. I'll take blur. Blur, blur plus is good. Unfortunately, we might just die here just because of bad draws and various reasons. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's do infinite blades. Let's do jacks. Let's do prepared. Let's get rid of survivor and defend. Noxious fumes. Defend. Madness the backflip to be free. Probably could have waited a little bit. Deflect, dagger spray, and then just concentrate because it doesn't matter. Yeah, I have enough energy that I can pretty much make madness do whatever I need it to do. Which is actually really helpful. Okay, let's do prepared. Let's drop the shiv for a second. Infinite blades, infinite blades. Distraction. Blur. This is gonna hurt. And Phantasmal Killer. Yeah, I might not actually win this one just because of kind of the way my deck is constructed. Enemies that hit hard early on are particularly dangerous to me. Okay, so... After Image. Which really doesn't help that much. Shiv. 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 Endless Agony. Endless Agony. Shame we can't do a, a doubled... Uh, shame you can't actually double up powers. That would be amazing. But a little bit broken. But yeah, I think we're actually going to die against the Maw here. After a midge, neutralize should help. Infinite blades. Shiv, shiv, shiv. Defend, strike. Okay, nope, he doesn't kill us here. Okay, so let's pop prepared. Let's drop the defend. We probably don't need it. Okay, let's do blur, deflect, make phantasmal killer free. Start shiving him. Yeah, really the cornerstone of this entire build is those after images. I might actually want to... Uh, if I had the chance, I'd make them innate, but I don't know if we're going to get that chance. Should have should have done it on the last round. Didn't think it was going to be a big, big deal. Because yeah, I'm really dangerous when uh, when I get the chance. Let's do a double prepared. Get rid of concentration. Hoping for some more attacks from that, but that's okay. Ah, and I don't have the blur. Oh, that's okay. He's about to die. Yeah, the poison more or less pays for itself. In terms of sheer damage. Okay, corpse explosion, dagger throw. I mean, dagger throw would be amazing, but again... Trying to keep my hair hand pared down. 
Alright, let's see where we stand after this fight. I'd like to fight the mid-boss, but if it kills me, then there's no point in it. Okay, this is this is a good sign. So after image. Noxious fumes. Infinite blades. Infinite blades. Prepared. Drop the defend. Endless agony, endless agony, deflect. I was kinda hoping I could maybe get blur. It would definitely help for this round, but I mean we've still got some of our combo going. Okay, so let's start with Distraction. Gets me dodge and roll, which is good. Leg sweep, any number of them, you. Prepared. Gets me madness and burst. I don't have enough defense yet, but we'll be okay. And then burst isn't going to do anything, but I'm not going to take any damage here. And now Burst is free for the rest of combat. Okay. Infinite Blades. They're kind of non-threatening right now, which is kind of weirding me out. The last time, I mean, the first time we fought these guys, they, they hit me with the, uh, with what? 32, 40 damage in one turn? Oof. Yeah, this would be it. Okay, so... After image. Infinite blades. Strike. Madness. I'm just trying to hit... People. It doesn't really matter who I'm hitting. Okay, so they're going to do 16... I'm going to take two damage here. I mean, so far my mitigation feels pretty good. Oof. Okay, so deflect, backflip, dagger spray. That cuts the damage down. I think I can actually just kill them. Yep, there we go. No accuracy. I'm gonna grab Choke. I got 16 HP, I can't hit the mid-boss. Even if I wanted to, uh... That's like a quarter of my health. Even for the extra relics, it's not worth it. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So we have Noxious Fumes. Infinite Blades, Infinite Blades, Prepared, so there's Concentrate and Jax. Let me think. I have no defense, they're gonna hit me for 17. Pop Madness, good. And I can neutralize one of them. Okay. I'm trying very hard to avoid damage here. Not making it easy. Dazed is rough, but I can kind of work around it. Because this build isn't dependent on them. Okay, so I'm going to work on the Repulsor. He's kind of indubl indubitably, invariably the most dangerous of the group. Like, the other ones can hurt, but uh, he's the one that actually messes with my deck. And I'm pretty much just gonna have to, to kill the thorn guy with... very carefully. <laughs> Hopefully Panache will, uh, will do the trick. Catalyst. I'll just use it now. Okay. So I can block, hit him, block, hit him again. And his poison's been increased. Yeah, I could have waited on the catalyst, but I figure I might as well start it now. Even if it's only like a, a minor, minor increase. Okay, so what do we got? 
after image. Just drop one of the shivs. It's used. Uh, Deflect, Madness, Burst, Double Leg Sweep on the guy in the back. Okay, so I've got a ton of defense. So I'm going to set him up to die. And... I could have actually just let the, uh, the Thorn guy die and hit the Exploder. Well, let's see what I can do defensively. The answer is not much. Uh, I'm going to take damage from this, aren't I? Very carefully. Okay, so... Well, this is gonna hurt. I'll grab an escape plan. Okay. Oh, come on. No. Um, I'm gonna take a bypass. We're gonna go this way. Get here and decide if I... Man. This is not going great for me. Art of War. Which is kind of useless on my end. I'm just hoping we can get a heal. Oh. No heal. I mean, worst comes to worst, I just fight a mid-boss and say close enough. Okay, so what do we have? Let's pop escape plan. Which lets me pop... Burst. Into blur. Infinite blades. Infinite blades. Prepared. Let's lose the... Let's lose jacks and deflect. Concentrate. Oh. I thought I'd have one left, but no, it's not concentrate plus. I keep forgetting that. Had I been thinking, I wasn't thinking. Okay, so let's do distraction. Gets me calculate a gamble, which I don't want to use here. Let's do madness, because only backflip I backflip is the only card I can use. Choke, which is incredibly useful. Endless agony, endless agony, shiv, shiv. Calculated Gamble, Survivor. Okay. Yeah, something's going to kill me here, and it's not... I'm not going to be happy about it, but... Oh, well. Well, no, we might actually survive against this guy. Let's drop the Madness, we don't need it right now. I prefer to use it on the, exp uh, the expensive cards. Yeah, someday I'd like to have a, a deck where I replace every single one of my blocks with blur. How amazing would that be? It'd be unreasonably strong. But, oh well. I mean, can't win them all. However, I don't think I'm going to lose this one. I have shivs for days already, which also means I've got armor for days. We've got neutralize running on him constantly. Let's do burst into a leg sweep. More or less keep that weakness forever. Prepared. Drop a choke. Could have used survivor. Oh, I could have used survivor into panache. I thought I was out of energy. Yeah, people like to point out how inattentive I am for this game. I'm not actually as inattentive as you think I am. My main problem tends to be centered around the fact that I'm very 
I'm very focused on finishing these runs in relatively short order. Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to dwell too long. Because if I if I do, it gets boring. Uh, for me and everybody else. Jesus. Okay, uh, let's do preparation. Oh, nope, that's madness. Now this is preparation. Let's lose... Dagger spray... And one of my shivs. Actually, I didn't need to. Now that I'm looking at it, we are... Fine. I forgot that I had Blur for the last one. There's just a lot to to take into consideration. And between commentating, uh, between commentating, obviously playing, uh, and just everything else, it gets very easy for me to miss very basic things that most other people might not. Like Choke there, for example. Missed it completely. Not that it's going to make a difference. He's dying on his next turn. Uh, but, you know, stuff like that is just super easy to miss because I get really bad tunnel vision. I, I get habits of, like, shiv, 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 shiv. Uh, when, you know, maybe there's something that's actually better. Well, well laid plans. Go on the mid boss. Stonesley. Well laid plans is free. Infinite blades. Infinite blades. Infinite blades. Prepared. I kind of wish Burst would carry over between rounds. I guess I'll just... Oh! It could have. Again. Remembering certain things is hard. Luckily, we're fine. Okay, so I'm going to use Jax here. We're going to use Neutralize on him. Prepared. Let's lose one of the defense. Backflip. Gets me more cards. Escape plans. Gets me Choke. Okay. Defend. Defend. Endless Agony. Endless Agony. Shiv. 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 Okay, that'll... that'll help. But yeah, I gotta remember, I can retain, retain a card if I want to. Which is quite handy. Okay, so, after image, infinite blades. Noxious Fumes. Madness. I'm not going to use Survivor, because I'll lose... It. I really got to remember to retain one of those. Okay. So, After Image. Distraction. Gives me bullet time. So let's do blur. Now I'm going to do madness, which makes leg sweep free. Which is fine. Okay. Hmm. See how this goes. I've got a fair bit of defense. And I will only get more. There's Panache, which we needed. Prepared. Let's lose Concentrate and the regular defend. Escape plans. Just get some new neutralize. Prepared again. Let's me lose. I mean, bullet time is completely useless here. Honestly, getting bullet time was like the last thing I needed here. Unfortunately, my damage doesn't scale up too much. After this point. But that's okay. Because I'm a tough cookie. 
I can keep that weakness rolling and we get tons of defense. If only I had blur consistently here. I would be untouchable. Yeah, we need Choke to show back up. Because once Choke shows back up, we can just harm him. No, is Burke... Uh, choke is a... Choke is an attack. Okay. So let's do... Let's do Deflect? Because it's... No. Choke. Burst. Blur. I'd rather have the, the double blur if I can... If I can get it. Okay. So he's going to do... I'll have 15 carryover and we'll keep the backflip. Yeah, we'll be fine. I was really expecting to get clobbernotted by this guy. And I will, if this keeps up. But we might be okay. Nope. Okay, so first and foremost, do I have anything that will make me draw? Yes. Backflip. Let's get rid of dagger spray and defend. I could have, I should have gotten rid of concentrate now that I'm thinking about it. Well, it's fine. We beat him anyway. So it doesn't really matter if my play was slightly unoptimal. Okay, so we get strawberry snacko skull. Fire potion, which is useless. I'd like to get another choke, but I don't think I want to. They're kind of expensive. However, I'm going to do it anyway for the sheer possibility of getting a double choke. Come on! Looks like going down the mystery machine route was just an awful plan for this one. Okay, so let's do defend. Which means I can use... Nope. Infinite blades. Infinite blades. Madness, which makes choke free. Which means I can choke him. I'm just gonna endless agony wail on that guy. Oh, choke is the status effect. It's a debuff. Artifact blocks it. Okay. Well, we've got Panache, Noxious Fumes, Backflip, Deflect, Shiv, Shiv. Now, I don't want to do Dagger Spray. That would hurt me. Because they're going to hit me for 19. I could do Survivor, but no. Just gonna hold on to Dagger Spray, maybe. Yeah, unfortunately, Spiker is way dangerous, so Dagger Spray, just in general, probably wasn't worth. Oh, that's okay. Alright, uh, how are we gonna do this? I have Neutralize. I don't have a single defense move. Uh, I should have gone with Survivor. I could double Jax, but that would be a bad move. So I'll take nine. No, I'll take 17. I should have kept Survivor. I figured I'd be okay, but yeah, he blows up in our face. 
I take 17 damage. Oh. It's right on the cusp of death. Alright, how are we going to do this? Prepared. Let's lose concentrate. Infinite blades. Blur. Leg sweep. Shiv. Shiv. He's not going to harm me. And retain that even though he dies of poison. Yeah, just bad timing, bad draw. Okay, flying knee. No, none of these are good. Alright, let's go shopping. I have money. Please tell me I have kunai. Let's get kunai, and let's get rid of... Oh, I got rid of every single strike I had. Let's get rid of concentrate. It's like the most useless thing I have in my deck. I guess it's free. But still. Okay, so I'm going to be going into a boss fight with... 26 H3. This is a strong contender run. Fuck. I'm dead. You know how I said the Timekeeper was going to be a hard counter to me? This guy, the Awakened One, is going to ruin me. Maybe. I mean, Awakened One plus Cultus is really, really worrying. Well, let's jax it up. Escape plan. Gets me deflect. Well laid plans. Deflect. Defend. And more or less, I have to start wailing on these guys. And they're going to do 9 damage to me? 9 damage to me. I mean, if I can kill the cultist, which is very reasonable, I might be able to just tank the Awakened One by myself. Nope, I am dead. Ha ha ha! Wow! Panache! Defend, defend, defend. Shiv. Shiv. And I die. I ran into the true hard counter for this build. But let's be honest, running into the Awakened One with a very, very power focused... I really... I gotta wonder if the uh, the bosses are procedurally generated based on what kind of build you're running. Because I was like, oh, so you use powers, eh? Well then. I almost feel like um, it should get like a 50% a, a strength bonus that only lasts for a turn. Every time you use a power. Or like... It gives you weaken every time you use a power, because at that, at that rate, you could kind of, like, pace it out or something. But my all of my build was dependent on powers, and hey, guess what? You can't use powers on this one. I was, de I was dead from the moment I walked on onto that room, and that's kind of okay. Uh, 